Welcome back to the best part of your um, video log. And so uh, let's jump in. Remember, we're in the middle of a study, a Wayfarer's Guide to Basically the Universe. And I wanted to share something based on the first sermon that I had uh, preached on Psalm 120. And that was, I asked everybody to begin reading each of these Psalms 120 to 134. And just take a look and see exactly what God is and what he does for us. And so this morning in Psalm 120, I want to bring up specifically one of those things about who God is and, and how that really encourages us. You'll notice Psalm 120 verse 1 says, a song of ascents, in my trouble, I cried to the Lord. He answered me. This is the biggest thing. A lot of times I don't need somebody to um, fix my problem. I just need somebody to be there. The wonderful thing about Almighty God is that he is eternal. And his eternality, a big $3 word, means that he has seen everything. Um, the wisest man in the world, Solomon, wrote that there is nothing new under the sun. And so everything that is going on even now has gone on in the past. And God has been there for his people then, and he is with his people now. And so as the psalmist is writing this, it's an age-old message that never grows stale or out of date or even trite. We need to be reminded every day, Wayfarer. That's what we are. We're Wayfarers. We're passing through that God cares for us. It's uh, interesting that Peter, who had failed Jesus at every turn, denied him, and yet Jesus reinstated him, said this, in one of his letters. In fact, it's the first letter, chapter five. He says, casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Well, who's him in that verse? The him in that verse is almighty God. He tells us that if we'll humble ourselves, see, God doesn't want anything to do with somebody who's prideful because if you're so full of your own pride and that you can do it all, there's no room for God to show his majesty, his power, and his amazing grace. But if we'll humble ourselves, Peter tells us, then he will move in mighty ways in our hearts and we can cast all our anxiety on him because he cares for us. God cares for you. If there's something you need to remember about who God is, it's that God cares for you. And so Wayfarer, as we journey on this life together, I want you to remember, who is God? God cares for you. God loves you. God is there for you. I cried to the Lord and he answered me.